My lumber storage situation needs, well, a lumber rack. And of all the options out there, I decided to make my own design. Sheet goods in the back, boards in the front. I call it the mullet lumber rack. I'm Jeremy. And this is Gadgets and Grain. First things first, we want to find the wall studs that will support the rack. Next, I leveled and temporarily attached a 2x4. This allowed me to drill pilot holes for the 4.5 inch lag screws that I'll use later on. I wanted the lag screws to fit flush with the supports, so I used a Forstner bit to countersink the holes. Since my drill bit was not quite long enough, I had to remove the 2x4 and drill even deeper into the wall. Then I could attach the support with the lag screws. I then moved on to the vertical supports, cutting them to length and preparing them to be attached to the marked locations of the studs on the wall. I cut my boards for the rack frame, starting with 2x8s at the very bottom. Now, I use these for the bottom arms because it's going to support most of the weight for the lumber rack, so I wanted the extra strength of 2x8s. I then attach them with heavy duty pocket screws. And then using my miter saw, I cut the rest of the boards for the frame. I got a little fancy here and cut these 45 degree angles at the end of the rack arms. And I attached everything with pocket screws. I used the new HD jig from Craig, which plugged right into my existing K4 jig. While attaching the frames, I was encouraged to see that the rack could support my own body weight. That's a good sign. I then used 3 quarter inch plywood for the two shelves on the rack, one on the bottom, and one on the top. I'm really happy with how this lumber rack turned out. I can get all my lumber off the floor now, my sheet goods can go slide somewhere out of the way while still making my other boards very accessible. I'm really impressed with the strength of this lumber rack too. I'm glad I went with the HD insert for my Craig jig so I can make sure those pocket holes were super strong. So I highly recommend that when you're doing these sort of heavy duty projects. The only thing you need to think about is if you're having a, a lumber rack like this is you need to leave yourself enough clearance to walk and slide your plywood pieces up and down from the lumber rack. Just give yourself enough room. Let me know what you think in the comments below and of course for full instructions go to gadgetsandgrain.com. Go out and make something great.